Hey guys, this is Lord of Reviews, and welcome to a new tutorial. Um, this is going to be a tutorial on how to completely convert a Windows.exe file into a Mac.app. I am incredibly sorry, I haven't made a video in two weeks. I, I'm really ashamed of myself, but I've just been so busy just doing so much different stuff, and going to birthday parties, and getting ready for school, and buying school supplies, and just tons of stuff. <laughs> I'm ashamed of that. But... This is my new tutorial. All right, we're going to be using a program called Wine Bottler. Wine Bottler uh, can be found at winebottler.cronenberg.org, shown up here. Um, so once you're at this website, this website will be in the description. Click download, and then insert, and then extract it, and you'll be ended up with two programs shown here: Wine and Wine Bottler. You don't need to do anything with Wine, just, and you don't even have to do anything with Wine Bottler. Now all you have to do is uh, download an exe file. Don't this isn't meant to be a program like that you need to do in program files in Windows. It's just meant to be like a solitary um, exe file. If you have a solitary exe file that you need to run on a Mac, just click it, and it says you're about to open in a wine file. You you can either run directly in a new wine prefix like this. Or convert to a simple OSX application bundle with Wine Bottler, which is what we're gonna do. Now, don't change this. You have to check copy only if it's a DXE file. If it's a folder that you need to create, don't do that. But click it if it's an EXE file, which probably is. Now make it self-contained so the app can run out run without Wine. Don't click that and click install. It'll take a few minutes, but then you'll be ended up with this. This is my file. You'll get to name it and everything. You can even choose the icon by right clicking. And as you can see, it'll open. And you'll be left with your Windows application. And by the way, this is the this is meant to be the style of this application. The S the Super Nintendo emulator. Don't worry, it's always meant to be laggy in the home screen, but you're meant to use the arrow keys in the emulator, so this is not because of wine bottle, it's this is actually how it would have been if you'd run it on Windows. And that is basically it. That is a tutorial on how to use Wine Bottler to convert a Windows EXE file into a Mac.app or simply play a Windows EXE on a Mac. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.